On September 11, 2001, after terrorist attacks on the Pentagon and World Trade Center, military bases around the world went to the highest alert level. At the Pentagon, DECA's liaison office staff escaped, but one of DECA's patron council members, retired Lieutenant Colonel Gary Smith, was killed while attending a meeting nearby. DECA Director Major General Robert J. Corder addressed the headquarters staff and predicted the Guard and Reserve would be activated, increasing DECA's customer base by thousands. Sure enough, Guard and Reserve members ordered to more than 30 days active duty and their families received unlimited commissary privileges. Many stores closed for a few days as a security measure, but stores near Manhattan and the Pentagon sent emergency supplies to first responders and relief organizations such as FEMA and the Red Cross. When DECA stores all reopened, the increased security and traffic jams at the gates caused problems in just getting deliveries and employees to the stores. DECA overcame these obstacles and continued to support our military at home and overseas. With a minute of history, I'm Pete Skirbunt, DECA historian.